Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video, I will teach you how to use linear gradient in React Native. I will explain the all props of the linear gradient. So let's start with the practical. So let me show you the example of the linear gradients. Like we have a lot of examples like how to create the button with the linear gradient and also how to create the border of the linear gradients. And also I will teach you how to create a full view with the linear gradient. So let's start with the practical. Uh, so for the linear gradient, we need to install the one library with the name of the React Native linear gradient. So just copy this, come here and just copy the command to install the library. And this is my project. I already installed these things and press enter. So also if you are using the iOS, so CD iOS and install the ports and then you can run uh, your iOS and Android also. Android, you do not need any dependency. Just run your app again. So, let, so first we are going to import the linear gradient from the react native linear gradient so for that uh, just come here import and just paste it uh, first i will create uh, one button with the linear gradient so like the first props of the linear gradient we should pass the color uh, with the array form color and just open the array so i will apply the color with the red and second one yellow okay, yellow and third one is a green and just copy this text and paste it so we have another props also uh, styling props i will uh, define the styling also let me define the styling uh, like a uh, style just come here We need a height. Height, uh, I will take a 150. And just copy this. And come here. Paste it. So you can see, and also margin top. We, now we can see we have a linear gradient with the vertical form. Like a first, we have a red, then we have a, a yellow, and the last one, we have a green. So now I want to change this horizontal. Like a first, I need to a color a red, and then I need to yellow, and the last one I need to the green. So for that, we are going to apply the uh, coordinates. We have start, take a x and y. So for the x, I will apply the zero, and for the y, I will apply for the y one. And then we have an end also. <clears throat> for the end also, I will apply x is a zero. And y also with the one so now it will start the color horizontally like a first we have a red then we have a yellow and then last one we have a green so let's save it uh, 0.5 uh, you can see first we have a, a red and the center we have a a yellow in the last one we have a green so this is like this we can uh, define the vertically and horizontally so another props we have a location like uh, in which specific location and which specific location you want to apply the color and how much color you want to apply a specific location for the color the first one i have a default a zero and the second one i will apply 0 0.5 and the third one i will apply one now you can see the changes so we have zero and one and one this is the by default uh, position of the color so if you want to change the uh, position of the color like i want uh, the red color in the position of the yellow so for that we need to like uh, this and also i want the yellow color in the position of the one so for that i just apply the zero so let's see you can see in the first we have a yellow and the second we have a, a red and the last we have a green so if you want to change the uh, color of the green also so you can also change it like I want in the 0 0.5. So see, uh, we have, and let me, like in the first I have, I will change it to the one. So you can see uh, 0 0.5. Uh, so the my green color is taken in the center and the yellow color I have in the starting and the red color is a in the loss. So another props we have use angle. So use angle. If it is true, it will take the angle props also like an angle. Uh, now I'm defining the position 45 so it will take a 45 position if I apply 90 let me see so you can see 
the changes in the angles like uh, first we have this and i can I apply 180 position like the color will be changed with the 180 like this and we have 360 position also like this we can use the use angle also if it is false so the use angle will be not working like this like uh, if i remove this you cannot see any changes see so uh, if you are using the angle to you should uh, through the use angle the most important props of the linear gradient is the color and then we have a start and end from which from where place we start the color and then we have a location and a style also we can apply the styling also to the so now i'm going to teach you how to create the button with the linear gradient for that we are going to first a linear gradient and just call the linear gradient when we are going to pass the color and orange and then we have another color also white so i'm not good in the colors so another color we have a black so let's see if i save it so now just apply the text and just say button now you can see the button in the bottom of the linear gradient so for that I uh, just cut this and we are going to apply the touchable opacity and come here just inside the touchable opacity and I'm going to style margin top we have margin top and 50 so it will take a space and now I'm going to uh, apply in the styling also like uh, style I will show you the styling also like uh, we have a width 80 percent and also height 50 percent and border radius 20 percent so also uh, we need to uh, align item center also align item center so that all the item will become in the center and also justify content center so it will become in the center also and just uh, copy these thing also and paste it in the linear gradient so linear gradient is also uh, a view type so see uh, you can see uh, the button with the yellow and white and black so now i'm going to pass the on press oh let me pass the on press and just uh, working so let's test so see you can you can also work it's working so now i'm going to show you how to create the a border with the linear gradient so for that we are going to a linear gradient and just uh, type the first we are going to apply the color with the linear gradient so colors and i'm taking the yellow yellow and black and green so these three colors i have so now i'm going to uh, import the touchable opacity and just type the text uh, linear linear border color so this is my button you can see and now i'm going to uh, style all these things like uh, first i'm going to style just apply the width it will take 80 percent and also we need a height also height 50 and also align item center justify content center so now i'm going to apply the background color so it will be a white so you can see uh, we have a color and now i'm applying the margin here margin is apply to you can see the borders and just copy this and come here to the style of the button and just align item center align self center and also justify content center radius border radius 20 
so and also we have a padding also padding 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 four or three so like this we can create the uh, so so now you can see margin margin like this also i just uh, in here just apply the padding ten so if i say five three four so like this you can create the uh, border radius also in the button so this is the react native linear gradient <coughs> so, <coughs> so it will take us some time to so like this we can create a uh, <coughs> first <coughs> if the border is if the border is too uh, so if the border is too big so for that you can remove this padding also and only you can remove this also this padding so now it will show a little bit the uh, border but you cannot see these things so for that you can also apply the border radius to the button also border uh, radius 20 so you can see and also i will apply the margin top margin top 50 so hope you like this video see you in next video for now bye bye